<clears throat> Got it. A lot of music plays as we see Lisa running through the neighborhood. Several uh, heads turn. At one point, Lisa runs past Arvar Arnoff, Arnoff, holding a bunch of notebooks. Arvar turns, smiling. Lisa doesn't see him. Arvar continues watching her run as he continues to talk, tripping over a homeless man. Dear Universe, my name is Lisa. And I just moved to Los Angeles. Lisa, uh, Lisa arrives at her apartment. We see moving boxes over, all over the place. Lisa walks through the pile almost like a maze until she gets to the bathroom. My lovely apartment. As Lisa showers, her friend Emily appears. Her jaw drops when she sees all the boxes. My even lovelier best friend. The bathroom door opens. Lisa appears wrapped in a towel with shampoo all over her eyes. Emily, is that you? Emily turns. Yeah. Can you see if any of those boxes have my clothes in them? Emily starts digging through the boxes. Um, sure. You have shampoo over your eyes. Really? Now? Emily continues digging through the boxes. Is there a reason why you didn't just wash it off in the bathroom? Oh, wow. I didn't think of that. I could have washed it before stepping out. Emily looks up. So why didn't you? Do you not hear the water running? No, I don't think so. Is the faucet turned on? Emily sh Emily's shampoo still over her eyes, looks at Emily. Emily gets the hint and continues searching for the box with Lisa's clothes. Emily and Lisa enter the dinner. This is Sam's favorite place. Emily looks around. He's got to be here somewhere. Lisa noticed a crowd of people. She shakes her head and taps Emily on the shoulder and points. Emily turns. Sam is on the table performing a monologue. Everyone is moved. And my Hollywood brother from another mother. Sam. Lisa and Emily sit with Sam at one of the booths. People pass Sam, uh, pass Sam pat, pat Sam on the back as they leave. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome to LA, my dear sister. Are you fully moved in? No, I still have a lot of boxes to move around. You free this weekend? Sam sits there and looks at Lisa. Oh, uh, Lisa and Emily look at each other. The, they both burst out laughing. Wow, Sam, you really are the worst brother. Relax, Sam, we took care of it. You're off the hook. Sam lets out a deep breath. <sighs> it's just me and boxes. Lisa nods. Right. So, what are you ladies up to today? Well, I was going to take Lisa to the yoga studio and see if they had any openings for her to be an instructor. Oh. Sam puts his finger to his brain. Hmm. I'm going to, will you get the job, my dear sister? Lisa puts her finger on her brain, to her brain. Oh, looks like it came through. The, the group laughs as they continue to talk. Lisa and Emily stand across the uh, Michelle. Nope, no openings. That's okay. I literally just moved here, so I didn't expect to get a job so quickly. Michelle steps away to do something. Emily looks sad. Hey, Lisa. What are you talking about? I have savings. I have money saved up. I don't need a job right away. I'm just... Happy you showed me this beautiful studio. Yeah, you want a tour or? Of course. As Emily shows Lisa around, we see several yoga students standing outside a mat room looking annoyed. 
Emily points to the restroom. Lisa enters and Emily walks over to the crowd. What's up? The yoga students look over. Shannon's running late. Again. Emily thinks for a moment. She looks over at the restroom. Then she then turns back to them. Oh, actually, she can't make it today. She's sick. Emily coughs a couple of times. The yoga students look at her. <clears throat> oh, that's the sound she made when we talked on the phone. You girls go on in and I'll get the sub and know, let their, I'll let the sub know that you're ready. The yoga girls enter the mat room as Lisa steps out of the restroom. Emily rushes to, over to Lisa. Hey, Lisa, great news. Okay, Michelle's willing to give you a chance to show what you know. One of the instructors is running late, so go get her students started. Emily points to them. Emily looks at them. Oh, okay. Lisa greets the class as she begins by having them stretch. Things are awkward at first. However, Lisa begins to find her groove and starts to really have fun teaching these students. Emily sits on the table as Michelle looks at her leg. Where does it hurt? Michelle hovers her finger over Emily's leg. Emily flinches. Emily, I didn't even touch you. I know, that's how much it hurts. Emily peeks over Michelle's shoulder to see everyone in downward dog. No, I'm fine, Michelle. Here, check this out. Emily turns. Michelle around. Michelle's jaw dropped when she sees Lisa leading the students. Lisa stands with Michelle and Emily by the table. The students head towards the door. One of them turns to Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Good night. No problem, Tina. Have a good night. Lisa turns back to Michelle. I'm so sorry, Michelle. Emily told me to just go in and start teaching them. I assumed you gave her permission. Actually, I think she said it was it was your idea. Emily shoots Michelle, no, Emily shoots Lisa a look. But that's the past. Don't worry about any of that. You're very talented and patient. How would you like to work for this class for a little while before you become a full-time instructor? Oh, I thought there were no openings. Shannon appears on the phone with a large frap. Michelle sees her. <laughs> a position just opened. Emily clutches Lisa ecstatically. Excitedly. Lisa, uh, Lisa Michelle, and Sam enter a department where a party takes place. Oh, can't believe you got a job so quick, Liz. Yep, all thanks to Emily. Good, you're finally useful. Emily punches Sam in the arm. Hey, they just finished beer pong. You wanna play? Let's do it. Sam drags Emily towards the table. Wait, what about... Ugh. Sam and Emily are gone. Lisa looks around. She sees a spot on the couch open. She slowly walks over to it. A girl sits there. Lisa slowly sits down and looks around. She sees them turn to the girl, preparing to introduce herself. Kyle suddenly appears and hogs himself between Lisa and the other girl. The other girl looks comfortable. Hey, what's up? Uh, hi, I'm Sam's sister. Hi, I'm not. Sorry, uh, aren't we all? So what do you do? Actually, I'm a yoga instructor. I just got hired. I start Monday. Kyle, can, Kyle continues to not. You know, I never understood that. Like, what does it mean to be Monday? Like, how is that different from the other days? You know what I mean? Lisa looks at Kyle. She has no idea what to say. Suddenly, Kyle sees a friend of his, of his enter. Peace out, yo. Kyle gets up, walks over to his friend. Lisa looks surprised. 
Lisa enters the kitchen. She walks over to the fridge where Ben has his head buried in the fridge. Lisa stands there partly. Ben, the Ben, Ben, Ben lifts his head back up out of the fridge. I'm killing it. The last beer. Lisa jaw, Lisa jaws drop. Ben is beautiful. Ben softens up at the sight of Lisa. He holds the beer out. Unless you want it. Lisa shakes her head. No, no, you drink it. Ben nods as he cracks it open. He takes a sip. I'm Ben, by the way. Ben sticks out his hand. Lisa uh, blushes as she shakes it. Lisa. Oh, Ben's eyes are widened. Sam's sister, Lisa? Yeah, you know Sam? Ben laughs. <laughs> Who doesn't? He's a bit much sometimes, but definitely a good guy. Lisa continues to smile, nods. Mm -hmm. Suddenly a crash, uh, his, her, uh, her, it hurt. Lisa and Ben turn. <laughs> I'm okay. Emmy enters laughing. Hey, Lisa. Sam was doing his monologue on the beer pong table and the thing cracked. <laughs> <laughs> Emily and Ben all laugh real hard. Emily noticed Ben, her jaw also drops. Emily, this, this is Ben. Ben extends his hand towards her. Emily shakes it. She then looks over at Lisa and smiles. Did you know Lisa is a yoga instructor? Ben turns, Lisa shoots. Emily a look. Oh, wow. I've been meaning to get into yoga, actually. Emily takes a folded uh, flyer out of her pocket. Here's the schedule. Lisa's slots are highlighted. Lisa looks at Emily with disbelief. Great. I can just come whenever? Yeah. First class is free. If you love it, then you can talk to whoever's at the front desk for a membership. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Ben leaves the kitchen. Emily noticed Lisa glaring at her. Uh, you're welcome. Lisa, Emily, and Sam sit at the dinner. They are, they are wearing the same clothes they were wearing at the party, with the exception of Sam, who is now shirtless. Sam is munching on his food as Lisa and Emily sit there watching him in disbelief. Sam looks up. Hmm. Oh, Ben mentioned he was going to check your class out. Glad you guys had a chance to meet. He's freaking cool. Lisa looks at Emily. Yep. Emily made sure he had all the information he needed. Sam starts choking on his food. Lisa jumps up and pats him on the back. Jeez, Sam, you forgot how to chew. I don't think his character chews. Sam uh, <laughs> gathers himself and looks at looks looks at Emily. Mm. Oh, Lisa, I forgot to mention my friend Stuart just got dumped by his girlfriend. You interested in going out with him? Wow, can you say it like that? How can I say no? Come on, Lisa, he's really hurting. He could use a friend. I don't think it's a friend he's looking for. Besides, Lisa has already found a great guy. Ugh. Rolls. Look, just meet him. If he's a jerk, I'll leave you alone. Yeah, right. Sam's head reaches over for his fr uh, for her fries. Lisa slaps it away. Lisa, now dressed like a yoga instructor, enters the mat room to find her students. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Lisa. Lisa begins to lead them through some stretches. Lisa has her back to the camera while we see the students facing up, facing us. One by, one by one, they start to get distracted as they stare past Lisa. Lisa looks up. Everything okay? She sees how spellbound they are. She turns to see Ben standing there and a really tight t-shirt suggesting a very uh, impressionable build. 
Hi, Lisa. Hi. Lisa turns embarrassed. Guys, this is my friend Ben. He's going to join us to see if this is something you might be interested in joining. You guys cool with that? All students nod in unison. Lisa wraps up the class. Begin ben begins to change in front of everyone. All the yoga students start to chat, looking for an excuse not to leave. After Ben finishes changing and walks over to Lisa, the yoga students continue to chat, occasionally glancing over at them. Hey, Ben, did you um, enjoy the class? I really did. I would love to sign up right away. Um, I don't know. You really seem to know what you were doing. You should be teaching the class. That's so sweet of you to say. No, I, I just really need flexible. Well, Tracy at the desk will help you get signed up. Oh, uh, great. Listen, I really, really appreciate you giving me a free class. Can I take you out for a coffee in, in a bit? Lisa what? looks... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Lisa sure. looks surprised. Oh, oh. Lisa's her forehead. Shoot, no, I have a date. <laughs> Oh, no biggie. Another time for sure. Bye. Lisa gazes down at Ben as he steps out of the mat room. Lisa smiles to herself. Suddenly she receives a text. She looks down at it. It's I'm from Stuart. Yeah, who this time is I'm Sam's body Stuart. I'm outside. Ugh. Lisa and Stewart sits across uh, from each other and at one of the tables at the dinner table. Awa, who we seen earlier, sits at another table, uh, firstly typing away at on his laptop. Lisa and Stewart sit in silence for a few moments. Stewart, tell me about yourself. And well uh, I got it. Well, I moved here like six or seven years ago. Stuart um, thinks to himself. Was it six or seven? How about we say 6.5? Well, that would depend on the month. We're rounding. So what are some things you like to do? As Stuart starts to, uh, starts to think, Lisa glances over at Edward, who, sit, who takes his, a sip from his coffee. He gets started from... Started, started from the heat, Lisa smiles to herself. Uh, I love volleyball. Lisa turns to Stewart. Great, then that's what we're doing this weekend. You want to play volleyball? Yeah, I love to play volleyball. I used to in high school. Oh, I, uh, I thought you'd be more into... More into what, Stewart? Manicures and facials? Can I be personal? Stuart thinks for a moment. Uh, sure. Why did you come out tonight? Uh, I don't know. Sam thought it'd be a good idea for you and me to hang. Then shouldn't we do something we both like? Yeah, but how do two people play volleyball? I just feel a lot of running around. First of all, there's nothing wrong with that. And who says it has to be just us two? Wouldn't it be more fun if we got a lot more people out to enjoy themselves and have a good time? <laughs> I guess I thought about it like that. Cool, and we split the bill. Are you okay with that? Stuart laughs. Yeah, sure. Lisa sticks out her hand. Stuart slaps it. Um, do, do, do. All right. Lisa and Ben walk through the park with coffee in their hands. Lisa works extremely hard to contain excitement. Dear universe, everything is just so perfect. Notice Lisa smiling. Someone's in a good mood. I have a confession to make. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, what's up? Lisa smiles as she continue, contains her excitement. When I saw you at the party, I 
I thought you were really cute. Oh, that is so cute. I think you're really cute too. Well, duh. <laughs> it laughs. They continue walking. So, what do you want to do now? I actually got to run. My ex wants to come over and grab some things. Oh, okay. Do you want me to come with you? No, 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 no. Uh, this, uh, this is my thing. I never involve my friends in my relationship stuff. What about people that are more than just friends? Ben thinks for a um, moment, um, and Lisa leans into him. You mean like brothers and sisters? Yeah, I'm only a child. Lisa continues to lean in towards him. Ben doesn't notice. I think that's why Keith really got me. He too was an only child. Lisa stops. Yeah, my ex. Oh, you're gay. Lisa realized her verbal uh, <laughs> diarrhea and throws her hands over her mouth. Ben looks at her. Isn't it obvious? Ben suddenly understands what's going on. Oh, no. You thought I asked you out on a... Uh, uh. Lisa looks embarrassed. Ben noticed and quickly puts his hands on her shoulder. Oh, hey, hey, it's totally cool. I'm actually really flattered that you thought I was attracted enough to go on a walk with. Lisa nods quickly. Great. No, seriously, I actually like you as a person. You think I would just ask random people to take a walk with me in the park? <laughs> I guess not. Please, Lisa, I really do want to be friends if you're cool with that. And if not, I totally understand. I can cancel my membership, too, if that makes it easier. Lisa looks at Ben for a moment. She then busts out laughing. None of that is necessary, Ben. We could use some male energy there. I'm serious, though. I'm serious, though. I think you have what it takes to have a class of your own soon enough. The two continue their walk, chatting um, vibrantly. Emily is on the couch, laughing her ass off as Lisa sits on the ground, folding her clothes. Lisa smiles to herself. Emily contains herself and gets up into a seated position, wiping a tear from her eye. Of course he's gay. He was too perfect. Right? How was Sam's friend? He was actually really nice. Second date? Not quite. He just came out of a relationship. I think what he needs is to be around warm, positive people. This weekend, we were putting together a volleyball game you down. Yeah, sure. So, so that's a no to the second date. I think that's a no to all the first dates you're going to try to put me on. <laughs> okay, Lisa flings uh, her socks over Emily. Emily dodges and grabs some more of Emily's clothes and throws it at her. They start throwing clothes at each other before hugging, laughing really hard. Clothes are scattered all over the living room. Lisa's smiling to herself. Gathering the clothes, the doorbell rings. She probably forgot her keys or something. Lisa laughs to herself as she walks over to the door and opens it. She freezes. Standing at the door is her ex, James. Hey, Lisa. Hey. James. Lisa looks around. What are you doing here? I'm here, Lisa. I got a job and I moved here. You followed me? James groans. Jeez, Lisa, the world doesn't revolve around you. Other things happen in LA. Lisa crosses her arm. I need you to leave. You're gonna throw away everything we had? You did that when you cheated on me. It's quiet. I'm not giving up on us. James then turns and begins to walk down the staircase. Lisa closes the door. 
I was just starting to find a little peace, a little bit of peace, and then he shows up. There is a light knock at, on the door. Lisa angrily turns to it and flings it open. What? Edward standing there looking through mail screams in a very manly way, dropping all mail. Ah! <laughs> Lisa covers her mouth as Edward crouches down to pick up, up mail. He can he is clearly a little shook. Lisa crouches down to help. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I just got some of your mail and I know it's really late and I thought you might be awake. I saw the lights on. Uh, I catches his breath. I'm around. Aaron uh, extends his hand. Lisa warmly shakes it. Lisa, I seen you at the diner a lot. You're always typing. Are you a writer? That Ron smiles. I am. He then fl uh, flittles his tie. On the weekends. <laughs> I get it. Uh, anyways, you have yourself a nice night. And Ron turns and begins to walk down the stairs. He stops realizing he's going the wrong direct, the wrong way. Lisa holds back her laughter. He quickly turns around and heads to his own apartment. And Ron flashes Lisa one, one more smile before disappearing. Lisa closes the door, smiling to herself. She then continues to gather her clothes. All right, the end. All right, guys, um, special thanks to Brandon. Great job, ladies. Um, good. They, um, cool. You guys did. We, we made it happen. So let's get into the discussion portion. We have both of the writers here today, so this should be awesome. I'll we'll open it up for any questions or thoughts about the script, anyone's performance, all of the above. Carrie, are you there? I am. I just want to say thank you, guys. It, it was a great job. And, I, and, and thanks for everyone for being so flexible. You know, so anyway, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, being flexible says it in the script, you know. So, maybe. yeah, <laughs> nice second that. Thank you guys. Uh, that was a lot of fun to hear you guys do that. Um, yeah, Carrie wrote the story and then I just did the latest draft. Uh, so, so yeah, any like story questions you have, yeah, direct at her, she'll be able to answer those. Any thoughts, ladies? Don't don't be quiet now. <laughs> don't be shy. Um, what are you hoping to do with the story, or do you know yet? Uh, overall, okay. So let me see if I can. Okay, here we go. I think you guys can see me better that way. Um, so overall, this is uh in my mind a sitcom slash kind of like yeah, I would say a sitcom. Um. And ultimately, if you guys are interested in the story arc, um, I, Lisa does eventually end up with Arnoff, but it's gonna be kind of like a slow burn kind of thing. She'll go through like a bunch of like people uh, before she gets there. Um, and then of course, um, there's the story arc with Sam, who's her brother and Emily, her best friend, both trying to get into the industry. Um, Sam will eventually, you know, get his big break uh, as well as Emily. But Emily's uh, story arc actually kind of course um, kind of collides with uh, Arnoff's a little bit because Arnoff is a struggling writer. Emily starts off as an actor, but then she ends up getting into directing. So then she ends up directing one of Arnoff's um, films, and that's their big break. So that's the overall story arc um, in my mind, uh, unless I change my mind. Um, uh, I'm going to be an actor in that movie too. Sorry. Is Sam going to be an actor in that movie as well? You know, that would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, Sam for Sam. Yeah. And then, um, but I, I do think Sam also kind of be, starts, well, you know what, actually, that makes more sense, actually. Like, let me shut up about Sam. Um, but Sam and Emily also have like a story arc, too, because then they also develop into a relationship, too. So that's another. So basically, if you guys will, it's kind of like friends meets like, broke girl meets like you know it's kind of similar to that except not set in new york sentinels um set in la with like broke 
writers and actors. So, our story. And it's obviously a work in progress. What I really want to really like um, accomplish in this is these are friends. Like I, I do want the relationships to really pop through. And actually what I like about Arun's rewrite actually is how much Emily is coming off as the wingman. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Emily Emily's the fun character for sure. Uh, yeah, she's definitely. I liked how you guys, how you played her too. Cause that's like, oh, I, I liked. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, how else? you guys should go ahead. Yeah, something. Oh, I was just asking if any, but you were asking a question. I was gonna say if if anyone else had any questions. Oh yeah, um, basically what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, there. Uh, how did you guys feel about that that duo, Lisa and Emily? Say it. How did the actors feel as the, the duo as Lisa and Emily? How did that feel to you? Right, the main duo. Like, would you, did the, did they strike you as like two friends? I mean, for as far as uh, from the actors' perspective, the the ladies actually did it, not from a. Oh well, um, I I wasn't sure if it was a comedy or I I, I wasn't sure, but I'm. It makes sense that it's a comedy, so that yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. When I first yeah. wrote, I really did think sitcom, though there could be some dramedy to it to an extent. So, but I, I am leaning more towards like sitcom y kind of. Mm -hmm. um, I know that sitcoms are kind of on their way out a little bit, but you know, if, if it was my way, something like this could kind of revive it. Do you feel like Superstore? Like, Superstore doesn't feel like so silly all the time. Like, there's a story I, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Going Okay. So it kind of backstory, and of course, I'm always like one of those people that um, struggles with trying to like give some exposition without being too talky in scripts. But basically, um, Emily and Sam and Lisa all kind of grew up together in Chicago. Um, Lisa was in a five-year relationship with James, uh, was actually engaged to be married, and he cheated on her. So she kind of goes through kind of like a kind of like a upheaval because like Emily and Sam are already in LA so they convinced her to move to LA because her life kind of fell apart in Chicago um so she's really trying to restart her life here but of course she doesn't you know of course then James just shows up because he's trying to win her back so okay um can you give us a little backstory as far as like how long she's been there how long James been there how long she's known Emily or you probably don't know that just yet um, I know oh, well, the, uh, Emily, um, Sam and um, Emily, Sam and Lisa grew up together. So, I mean, well, Sam and Emily are, are brother and sister, um, but um, em Emily grew up with them. So they've known each other forever. Um, James, her and James have been together for five years before he cheated on her. Um, the timeline is Lisa literally just moved in there. So she's probably been in L.A. for like a week. You know, she's not expecting James to show up, you know, but he does. So. Right. And I Ben, back. Sam yeah, and Ben, yeah. they're really good friends too. Okay. Um, how, how, what is uh, Sam's personality? Is he like confident about himself? That was what I was kind of going for, like he's, Sam is actually he's he's a, a character he he definitely is high energy but he's not he's actually at the same time humble like he wants to be an actor very bad and he takes it very seriously but he's not a braggy kind of person you right. know that's he gets so along with Sam um, because Sam also is kind of like that Sam's also a actor but he's you know they're both like really low you know like not you know um not the stereotypical actor. Oh, look at me! Look at what I've done. Uh, I, I do want to kind of use that throughout the series as contrast to other actors that they come across. Yeah. So it's like you know, to the ones will be like the side characters and stuff. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But and but, uh, go ahead. Is, you can finish it. Um. Yeah, I was just wondering. Do you plan on dipping more into the 
uh, the letter group, what we call it now. The which group? The LG, LGBTQ thing, oh, yeah. letter group. Ben actually has a storyline as well. So um, I feel like he, his ex tries to get in his life as well. And he, you know, he has to get past that. And then he does eventually like find love as well. So these are a group of friends. Ben is going to be definitely a big part of it. Yeah. Okay. I think you kind of got it. You kind of got the cool characters. You kind of have like the nerdy ish characters. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, Arun, what was your first thoughts before you rewrote it? Was it, did you get the idea that it was a comedy? Did you kind of, or did Carrie right. have to kind of explain it to you what's going on? No, no, no. I, I got it because you know, me and Carrie are friends. So she actually told me a lot about the story. Um, I knew it was a comedy. Um, okay. Uh, my thoughts were just that, yeah, this is friends, but with a more diverse cast, you know, it's, uh, um, it's almost like, I kind of see it as like the, the tone of almost like boy meets world where there's a lot of slapstick, but these are adults. And, yeah. uh, and, and I was, I was hooked because she, you know, Carrie actually wrote the part of Arnold for me. Um, yeah. So I love that character a lot. And that's part of what got me excited is just playing that character. Uh, and we shot that scene actually. So. Yeah. I, yeah. Sorry about, sorry about this actual series is I attempted to, uh, to film the pilot a while back, like a different version, but like, uh, and I come to find it, it's very expensive. So now it's like, okay, well, let me go back and kind of like re, you know, re-edit and stuff like that. Any parts that were kind of problematic. Actually, uh, Arun um, really helped a lot, like in the rewrite, because some of the stuff he kind of cleaned up for me, stuff that I liked, but maybe it didn't work as well, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then um, at some point, you know, either I want to reshoot it or um, just try to, you know, sell it. You know what I mean? Because I do think that this is kind of a fun story that has some commercial value. Um, okay. Um, have you considered the one location thing? I mean, I think you can kind of, or at least do most of it in one location, an apartment complex. Oh, yeah. When we hotel. shot it. Yeah. Uh, it's for the most part, there's only really three locations. You have like the apartments and then you have... Uh, a yoga studio and then you have like the cafe so the, it's a very right. cheap it's actually like if you you know for a production company to pick it up it would be actually kind of a cheap like thing to to shoot uh, it's not high concept at all um but um it's just about my budget so you know i have to obviously get an investor and stuff like that but it's not a it wouldn't be a very expensive type of thing to shoot um is it in set in modern day times or is it like um yeah. nice. not now, like 70 show or something that's a good you know, question it's, it's actually a very good question because i did write it pre-pandemic um uh, but you know this can be like post-pandemic you know what i mean like you know we could play around with that as well like you know what is this i don't know if acts the way he does because he's been like cooped up in his apartment all year right right <laughs> exactly. Comedy. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, that's that, really. Yeah, that's a great question because you know, it it would be interesting to play with like a post pandemic kind of thing, especially with yoga studio. Like when you go to places like where it's close pr proximity, you're like, do I have a mask on? Do I not? Do I get near people? Yeah. Yeah. So. And I could actually explain in the story yeah. where the students at the beginning. But as the series goes on, because Lisa is so great at her job, more people are willing to risk the social distancing and just come and join the class. Right. So that's something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, got though. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool that you uh, put Arun in there. Um, I mean, guys, he's an actual writer. Um, fun fact, I've, <laughs> we did most of it, multiple scripts of his work, so, um, which is... Yeah. Well, you know, I have to be honest with Dear Universe, I kind of cheated because I wrote a lot of the characters based on people I knew. So that's all. Awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's nothing wrong with that. That's how some people, that's how you got to start out. You, know? uh, you and they every writer you know. in existence. <laughs> I think that's most writers, anyways. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, don't try too hard. <laughs> then you get lost. Yeah. 
Well, thank you guys. Have you been writing as long as Arun has, or how's that writing been going for you, Kay? Honestly, I write on and off. I'm really busy with so many other things because what I do, I mean, I have a few hats, but uh, on the production side, I typically end up being a director and pro um, production uh, coordinator. So that does take okay. a lot. Um, and then also, I'm also a talent manager for mostly actors, some, you know, some writers as well, but mostly actors. Um, but I do write. I, during the pandemic, actually, like when, during the lockdowns, I did a considerable amount of writing. So. Okay. so I'm going back and like revisiting some of the stuff I wrote dur during that time to try to like, because, you know, writing, you know, you get the ideas down, but the real work comes to the editing part. So, yeah. But um, Andrew, I do it as much as Arun. Arun is like Shakespeare. So I'm more like, <laughs> I'm more like, I don't know, somebody writes less, but yeah. So how was your experience, Brandon? Did you enjoy the show? It was interesting. Uh, for, it's, it's so funny to look in my own life. A lot of stories I hear are easier darker. Uh, so I was just like, uh, I thought it was kind of different. Uh, different. Cool. I know, I know. Okay. In general, I try to write stuff that's like a little lighter. Like I, I'll touch on serious stuff. I mean, for me, this is like a relationship piece. So there'll be some serious element, you know, of people like getting over heartache and starting all over. But at the same time, I, I like to keep it a little lighter. So like, I don't know, like my humor is kind of like Shit's Creek and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've uh, read pretty serious uh when i was pretty serious chris before so <laughs> yeah cool all right guys any uh last thoughts comments questions no smiles anything yeah <laughs> thank you yeah, thank you all right thanks guys thanks everyone right. thank you so much